Hello, it's Wednesday the 30th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Now, estimates suggest that Brexit is directly responsible for about 30% of the food price inflation we've had since 2020. So, in the rush to get our borders back, perhaps they forgot to check if we were, or if we could, be self-sufficient in foodstuffs. Turns out that we're not. 28% of the food consumed in Britain comes from the EU, and f food supply chains, like so many others, have been hampered by the removal of the free movement of goods when we got Brexit done. The government even wants to introduce additional food safety checks on imports from the European Union, but these are being delayed for fear that their introduction would, uh, would stall the supply even further, create shortages and drive up inflation even more. So for now, we'll just muddle on without total clarity of the ultimate origin of 28% of our foodstuffs. This all rather begs the question as to why, alongside all the jingoism to get our borders back, or in the aftermath of getting Brexit done, why hasn't there been any push to buy British after Brexit? Surely that's a bit of an own goal. Um, over in the US, many are concerned that the Fed policy is killing off US manufacturing. For the majority, it's only the cost benefits of manufacturing in China that keeps their head above water in the face of all the higher US interest rates. So where Powell's speech at Jackson Hole suggested the Fed will continue to hike rates if there is even a whiff of inflation, uh, he didn't exactly appease these concerns. For the market, the main event this week will be Friday's non-farm payrolls um, and the employment data there. Forecasts suggest that we will see um, the number of new jobs created uh, continue to fall in line with the Fed's hope for a soft landing. About 170,000 new jobs are predicted um, and the data release should provide a further clue to the Fed's intention because a higher number may encourage the Fed to raise again when they meet next just to get that job done on inflation. The dollar saw a mild correction yesterday uh, as the dollar index slipped to 103.35. Sterling is in reactive mode with no tier one data from the UK this week and we moved up to about 126.55 against the dollar. We opened this morning from around 126.30 against the dollar, about 116.15 against the euro and we're about one, uh, euro dollar is about 108.75 uh, on the open today. That's it from me, have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.